all managers are based on their performance. I think that we were surprised when he was appointed because he didn't appear to have very much experience of English football. I think the one impression that I had was that the teams weren't properly prepared mentally. They didn't seem to be always up for it. Um, they tended to be quite negative in their play and the spate of red cards is something that he needed to get a grip of and he didn't. Um, the performance in the transfer market really represents Leeds's national position. I don't think that we would be that popular a club to come to, partly because of our inability to get promoted out of the championship and partly because um, the record of managerial appointments has been remarkable to say the least. I think that's really all I've got to say. It's not surprising it's been sacked, quite frankly. I think each time he did go, but I think he had a discipline problem with the players. I think it was a bit unlucky for him really, because I don't think, I mean, he's such a nice guy, maybe the club a little bit too big for him. Uh, I think it looks like he may have lost a bit of respect in dressing room and getting passion back into the team and stuff, so I think, yeah, I think it was the right thing for him to go. Uh, just a series of unfortunate events, we all sending off on injuries and stuff. I think if we hadn't had all that, it would have been a different kettle of fish. Um, I, think he's, I think he's done well first when he came in. Um, he seemed to have the backing up players, which has gradually dwindled away as season's gone on. Discipline, as we know, has been very poor. I think we've got six more red cards than any other team in Championship, which is absolutely shocking. It clearly shows he's lost respect at dressing room. I think his time's come and I think his decision's been right for him to go. Well, it's, I think it's about time he's been sacked, you know what I mean? He's had it easy so far. And, um, there's no discipline in club. There's, um, there's no fight, you know what I mean? There's no art, so we need a new manager. Someone who's uh, I want to fight for the club, you know what I mean? Like Gordon Strapping or someone, but not Grayson. Difficult one really, somebody along the likes of Mick McCarthy, perhaps, yeah, bring him away, or that sort of character, he could certainly get his play in. I don't like his style of football, but I think we need to we need to get a few more points so we're not uh, drifting down to the bottom, that's my worry. We don't want a Southern manager who would resent living and working in Leeds. We've had several of these before. Terry Venables, George Graham didn't like living and working in Yorkshire and they commuted and they weren't part of the scene and they did not be successful. Uh, possibly a Scandinavian manager might be good for us because we have a big fan base over there. We've had a lot of good football that's come from that part of the world. Um, or, or Irish, I, I, quite frankly. Um, it doesn't have to be British, but it needs to be somebody who's prepared to understand what Leeds and Yorkshire are all about and what the club is, is ambition is and what our weaknesses are quite frankly because we have got quite a few. I know there's a few names been brandished about on Skybet um, and other betting sites for Simon Grayson, um, Steve McLaren who I know were here on Saturday but I think if Gordon Strachan were to get a job I think that would be a brilliant appointment for Leeds. I think he'll be remembered as a nice guy that uh, set a record at start and see when we seven, you know, seven wins and you know, best start in seven games really. Uh, yeah, nice guy, I think that'll be it. <laughs> Again, somebody that tried hard but couldn't cope with the players, or maybe just couldn't cope with it at this level, English football at this level. Um, it's coming from somewhere where nobody really knew. Um, big, big shoes to fill, massive club, had loads of great managers over the season. He'll pretty were unknown really, but I think he'll be uh, remembered for what he's done here. First few games at season we were absolutely awesome. Dwindled away unfortunately, he's lost respect at dressing room. Well, I think he had a genuine endeavour, um, but he'll just be one of the also runs. And we've got quite a lot of them. He won't be remembered.
Oh, says every other Leeds fan, top six, which I think we're 10th at minute. Still doable, there's still a lot of points on board to play for. Um, we'll see. Sheffield United Saturday on Sky, we need three points, massively. <laughs>